Hello everybody and welcome back to the latest episode of my Fulham career mode on Football Manager 16. Uh, today we have the game up against, against uh, Hull in the Championship. A uh, tough game definitely because uh, they, Hull are like odds on to get promoted again. Uh, and of course they've got some really good quality in, that, in, in their team. Um, but yeah, we're going to give them a good go. I've put my top team out there. And... Uh, yeah, so I think we're going to do all right against Huddersfield, although they are first at the minute, but like I said, it's only two games. Um, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. A um, couple more injuries have like fallen. It's been a bit of a piss day. We've lost the left midfielder. So Pringle is going out on the wing, which apparently he prefers anyway. I didn't even know that. And uh, and we're bringing in Matilla and Hinman for the central midfielders, Matilla being the... Uh, yeah, that, I, I don't know. I'm really looking forward to Scott Parker coming back. How long? Three to six weeks, and Christensen four to five weeks. So we will have a pretty strong midfield when uh, when those two guys come back. And I think we, you know, we've got one of the best clubs in the champ, uh, best squads in the championship. So I'm I'm hoping that we don't have too many more injuries and we can really focus on, you know, start kicking people's asses uh, and really challenging for the title. Anyway, enough waffling. Let's get into the game. Come on, Fulham. Fulham. Excuse me. Well, they've gone for a really defensive out outlook here. Like they're trying to make sure they don't uh, concede any goals. Um, but Aluko and Hernandez up front. I mean, they're going to be pretty strong, and the Elamandi and Robertson are going to push up on the wings, uh, and. You know, they, I mean, they've definitely got the talent in there to real, like, give them a real good go. So we're just going to have to do our best here, really. Uh, I think he's left footed, so. Oh, uh, I don't know. Let's just go for it. Ah, only one person looking happy there. It's a shame. Maybe I should have gone counter attacking football. Only problem I find with going defensive or counter-attacking is you don't half invite the pressure. You just sit back and just wait, for, like just let them attack, 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 and then in turn one of their goals just like one of their attempts just happens to go in, and you and then you're like, oops, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I think the best thing to do really is attack. Maybe I'll start attacking them. Yeah, why not? Come on, Fulham. And this will be a learning curve as well. I've only had the game for a couple of weeks, so we can um, like I might do terrible, might get demoted again, go down to League One. Expect I'll lose my job if I do that. <laughs> but then I can take Exeter, and then we'll jump up to the Premier League, perhaps. There's McGregor. Speaking of McGregor, it's the uh, Conor McGregor uh, Aldo fight tonight. Um, which I am very excited about. It's about, what's the time? It's about quarter to one now in the morning. Still got to wait another two and a half hours or two hours and 15 minutes. But yeah, it's going to be a good one. So yeah, I'm staying up. It's uh, Saturday night as well. I've decided not to get pissed up as well, so I can. Uh, I might have a beer later, but uh, I don't want to get too drunk and forget. Oh, goodness me! Talking about. Oh, Jesus, wasn't paying attention there, and Corley Woodrow just comes out of nowhere on the head. Let's have a look at that then. So this Fredericks from the wing sends it in, and there's Woodrow getting his noggin on it, and it's a good goal. It's 1 0 against Hull. Well, they're, they're playing well. I'm playing well. I don't want to throw them off balance, but I just want to make sure they keep their concentration levels up there. Stay focused. That's it. Boot it. Oh, no way. McCormick's free. He's a bit sluggish. He's very sluggish. He has a pop. And it's not great. I've not been impressed by McCormick. I think I might be looking at getting a new striker in the... Uh, well, I suppose the transfer... Has, has the transfer deadline gone? I don't think so. I doubt it. No, it can't have done, can it? Ryan Fredericks picks up a yellow card. I'm going to specifically say to 
Um, I'm pleased with how things are going. And then I'm going to specifically say, I'm not happy with you, mate. Looks motivated and inspired. Cool. Let's see if he does something to actually... If he improves even by 0 0.1 in this next half to go to 6.5 and he finishes on 6.5, then I'll be happy with him because he obviously he can take on board um, what we're trying to say. Oh, he's a big lad there, Huddleston. He gets absolutely whipped by Hinman. And McCormick there is in a great position. Oh, he's found Woodrow. He's done well there. He's out, out wide to Frederick. Come on! Oh, oh! How did that not go in there? I was about to say, get in my, my half-time talk has made a massive difference. Um, which I think, you know, it might have done because McCormick's playing a lot better. Uh, but I really would have liked to see that go in. 2-0 away at Hull would have been um, a great feeling. Oh, come on, you've got to play that through. Go on, chip him. Yes, get in. <laughs> Corley Woodrow with his second of the game. Oh, I've got to keep my voice down. My dad's asleep upstairs. But yeah, what a, what a finish that was. Let's have a look at that one again. Fredericks. Oh, it's Fredericks to Woodrow again. And these guys are proving to be lethal. Really nice finish outside the box or on the on the line, on the edge of the box. Well, really well played. And they're, they're definitely doing well. I, th I think McCormack's been a little bit unfair, still only on a 6.4. I think he's done better than that. I don't want to go down to 10 men here. We need to make sure that we're focused. Oh, here's a corner. Pringle. Oh, go on. Oh, get out of town. It's Bodorov who scored from the corner, and I believe that's his second from the set piece. Uh, wow. What a performance here. Now, of course, we know what happens when we go 3-0 up. We concede a goal. So when we come back on, we'll pause it. Pause. We will tell everyone to concentrate. Oh, they're looking good. I'm not actually going to mess with that. I'm just going to uh, bring it back to control. We'll control the game. They're going to be trying to attack, and hopefully they... No, no, you know what? We'll, we'll just go to standard. Abassi, she might need to get substituted. We've got... Have we got that guy on the bench, the one I, I quite like? Oh, where is he? Will Buckley? Let's bring... No, we'll, we'll wait for a second. He's only at 70%. We'll wait till... He drops down to about 68, something like that. But everyone's having a stonker, aren't they? I want to make sure we don't get any more red cards. We've got two centre-backs that I can bring on. I might... No, we'll, we'll bring off him in a bit later. Hopefully we he can... Um, what are we doing? 68% there he is. Will Buckley there. Bringing on at the wing. Not his preferred position, I'll give him that. But at least it gets him some playing time. Matilla again, looking like he might be in the bit. Matilla the Hun, that's his new name. All right, we'll wait till the 80th minute, there it is. And we will substitute Dan Byrne on for the goal scorer, Bodorov. Oh, I'm really surprised the, surprised the crowd didn't give him a stand innovation. He's played really, really well. But that's fine. And who... No, no Matilda's looking really tired here. We'll, we'll bring him off. Uh, and we'll call in the deep line playmaker. Great stuff. What a performance there from uh, Fulham. It's our first three points and it's a way at hole. Couldn't be happier. Oh, unless they score a quick three goals in 20 seconds. And that Pom is just sent that straight out. Get in! What a performance that is. Boy, the, the whole fans are not happy. That was really special. I think they did really well. And Ross McCormick did indeed prove, improve after the first half. Not by much, but uh, by enough for me to say, well done, lad. At least you can... Uh, I'm not going to sack you off straight away. That was sack, by the way, not suck. Um, okay, so there we go. We are now sat in 11th position with five points, and hopefully we can uh, get a good result at Huddersfield at home.
next episode. Anyway, thank you for watching. That's definitely been my favourite episode so far. Woodrow with two goals and Bodorov uh, scoring his second of the season as well. So anyway, see you again soon when we'll be playing Huddersfield at home. Cheers.